Hey, how's it going, you lovely people? Welcome back to another video. If you haven't figured out by the title down below, I'm going to be helping my friend build his very first PC. Anyway, like I said, if you are new, thank you very much for the channel. It means a lot to me. If you do want to learn more about PCs and tech, then I consider subscribing down below. Turn those notification bells on as I do these videos every two weeks on a Wednesday. And if you are looking for some more chilled out, relaxing content, I do gaming every Monday as well, all at 7 p. M. Well, enough said, let's jump straight into the vlog. Hey, how's it going? We are now in the what would I call it? Like the the Benden. <laughs> the ben, the, the ben Benden. Yes. This is yeah. so yeah. This is his first what first build? Yeah. First ever so build. So we got yeah. ourselves what Cooler Master Master Box. Yep. And we got ourselves Crucial SSD. This is the exact same one I have actually, which is quite nice. And we've got ourselves some Vengeance DDR4, which is like the cheapest RAM on the market at the moment, but it's really good. What what what, what did you get it? Cut like is it did it say um like thirty two hundred like megahertz or anything? I think it was thirty two hundred, yeah. That's perfect, because I made a mistake, I got like ballistic X RAM and then I managed to get three thousand and I had to overclock it. So but that, that, that's that's fine, I had to just go into BIOS. And obviously he's now got my wonderful rx570 sad times it, it has to go it actually has to go but it was one of the first graphics cards i've ever had we've got ourselves a barracuda hard drive for game storage we've got ourselves a ryzen 5 2600x because you know the market at the moment is quite hard to get any sort of decent cpu because it's coming up to christmas everyone going crazy so um obviously we've got the cheapest psu we can get which is the integrator 500 watt 80 plus bronze and obviously we've got ourselves the race uh, the stealth rave caller right there it's already got thermal compound with it and we've got ourselves a b550 right so obviously the b550 motherboard doesn't compat with the ryzen 5 2600x and at the time i was being such a dumb dumb stupid dumb dumb that i let this go over my head i don't know how i did it it oh, it, oh I feel, it's so stupid of me that i like managed to let this happen but the problem got solved we had to go and get the B450M Mortar Max instead, which is the exact same motherboard that is in my computer right now. And we managed to sort everything else there. Um, yeah, I'll just I'll just go back into the vlog, okay? I'm very sorry. Much love, but I'm still sorry, okay? Yeah, last thing, I want to kind of cover this because he, he showed me what his previous rig was before. And, mate, this, this is the most cutest thing in the world. And then I was like, oh, right. Like, the size difference is mental. We were talking about it off camera. And then he told me what the specs were. And holy crap. It comes with a 9th gen Intel Core i3 processor, which is a 9100. Um, doesn't have a graphics card. As you can see, it has 4 gigabytes of DDR4 memory and a terabyte, 1 terabyte hard drive. And it has a card reader, which I guess is um, <laughs> somewhat <beautiful>. handy. <laughs> how, how, much, how much you get this for? Three fifty. It's three hundred and fifty. So all of that, put it into comparison. Yeah. All of that stuff there. I was gonna that, say, yeah, because it's two hundred pounds more. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Which oh. is mind-boggling to say that's, the least. <laughs> I was gonna say that's that's what pre-builds are for, mate. That's that's what pre-builds do to you. They damage your soul and they get you in really bad trouble. But I know you got like you got like the old Xbox and everything. Man. That 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 old Xbox uh, is a is a custom one. So oh, basically, really? it's got a microchip in it, which I can play PlayStation oh, 1 games, PlayStation yeah. 2, S SNES, Sega Mega Drive, oh, Nintendo 64, wow. uh, loads of games, uh, and it has indie games on it as well, uh, and everything. It's a custom, custom old, original Xbox, and it's everything is standard in it, so it's got the old that's, standard, big, massive cool. controller. It's got everything all what standard. You, what made you get that? What, what like? I got it on. Got it when it came out in two thousand one. When my mum and dad did. Oh right. And you um, got it like, well, jailbroken. It sounds like you know. Like well, yeah, we gave it to a guy that we knew who knew what he, he was doing, and oh, he put a chip in it, and he put an emulator in it to emulate all of from two thousand one. All of, all of the old games, so like all of the old like 
PlayStation 1 games, oh, all the old SNES that. games, That's all that. of them. I'd be good to dive in on that. There you go. I didn't even know that. I didn't I didn't know that at all. We didn't talk about that off camera. So how I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna go into a hyperlapse, get this, you know, get a nice montage going and then I'll reveal everything right at the end. So let's get straight into it. I'll see you lot on the hyperlapse. Yes, we managed to get ourselves a post, but obviously I, we, I forgot my memory stick, so we need to go back, get ourselves a USB stick, and quickly do a boot drive and get Windows plugged in or Linux. You're not a Linux fan. Yeah. I don't think anyone is a Linux fan, so I'm just going to do Windows as per usual. So yeah, everything's looking pretty. It's looking nice. If the fans are not spinning for some weird reason, we have to sort yeah. that out. Something needs to be fiddled about with. It's something to do with all of these components <laughs> All these here. components here. So I'll do that off camera, get it working, and then uh, we can wrap up and do a little outro. So Hell yeah. see you lot soon. Got ourselves a working PC. We actually managed to get Windows installed. And now we're just fitting on the front glass panel. And see, we've got ourselves some nice looking ARGB fans, you know. Rock in there. Rambo. Obviously, we haven't put everything back together, so it looks pretty ugly back here, especially down below. But you know, <laughs> we'll just do the sandwich method and for the time being, for the time being, and get everything in. Um, we don't have a Wi-Fi card, and obviously the route is. What do you say? It was upstairs. Isn't it? It's upstairs. Yeah, it's upstairs. I don't have a long enough Ethernet cord. If I really, if I really, really, really wanted to, yeah, get it going and get stuff downloaded and get some games on it. I can just lift it from here and just take it upstairs. You could, couldn't you? Yeah. And just get some stuff downloaded and stuff like that if I really wanted to. Because I could just take the TV upstairs and or, or something like that, and then I can get it. Um, get it going. Stuff downloaded and, and yeah. have like if I really wanted to do something, I could. Could get Steam, Discord. You could actually. You could take it upstairs and get your graphic drivers downloaded. Because then that means you got that ready, and then whatever yeah. game you play with, you go straight into it. Got ourselves a working PC. We now, what was it? It was mainly it was mainly Ben that did it, obviously, because I just I gave him a little guide and got him to <laughs> get his hands dirty with it. Because then that means he knows what to do when something fails or when something happens. He will know how to take it apart and put stuff back in. Anyway, I'll see you Let's lot go. back home. I'll do my outro there, so I'll catch you lot in a bit. Hey, what's up, you lot people? Welcome back to. The known tea house and if you did get to the end of the video and you watched all the way through thank you very much that means a hell of a lot to me if you are new and you did feel like you got educated from this video then make sure to like subscribe turn those notification bells on as i'm doing these videos every two weeks on a wednesday and i also be doing gaming videos every monday all at 7 p.m i stream on twitch now so you can catch me every saturday at 8 p.m and giving you a little bit of a heads up i will be doing a Christmas Day stream which will be Friday I think next Friday yeah and I'll be opening some presents for you lot there also before I go make sure to follow my mate Posh Ben or twitch.tv slash Posh Ben he does streams every weekend and he'll be doing Destiny 2 and Call of Duty gameplay so make sure to go give him a follow watch his streams show him some love and say that I sent you anyway thank you for coming along hope you enjoyed the video and if you did then you know what to do do the good stuff and I'll catch you lot on Saturday's live stream, 8 p.m. Stay safe and peace.